Let's take a look inside the 2024 Cadillac XT4 Sport all-wheel drive. I really like the sharp look of the 2024 XT4. The Sport model, it rolls on these 20-inch uh, multi-spoke diamond cut wheels. It's got the special black grille. Um, you'll see black trim, black accents on it. Uh, it's a really good look. Like many small SUVs and crossovers, the XT4 is powered by a 2-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. This particular one makes 237 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Uh, it's made it with a 9-speed automatic, thankfully no CVT. And uh, overall, I would say that it's a pretty satisfying ride, but not exactly sporty. Steering is pretty good overall. I would say it's neutral. It's not a very heavy weight to the steering, although in sport mode, it does give you a little bit more feedback from the road. Uh, overall, it's a quiet ride and you won't find yourself uh, having to shout to speak to other people in the car. The most impressive and eye-catching piece of technology in the X-T4 is the 33-inch extra widescreen display that runs from the left side behind the steering wheel all the way across above the center console area. The system has built-in Google Assistant and Google Play Store capability, but it also has wireless connectivity to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And let's say you've got your map up on screen. You can send that map over to the driver's side by pressing the map touch button here. And now you have your map right there, right in front of your face. Uh, and then you can switch the other screen over here back to show other information. That map display that goes behind the steering wheel can also be a Google map. So if you're not connected to CarPlay, you'll have access to Google Maps thanks to the Google Assistant built-in technology. These seats are actually quite comfortable, and one of the things that I do really appreciate about them is the lumbar massage feature. So there's a button down here, just a single button. Again, you don't have to dig into any screens, but when you press this button, you're gonna get a very subtle lumbar massage, which really helps with fatigue uh, while you're driving. And uh, it's not overly complicated, but it is a really nice feature for longer drives. There's a nice mix of premium materials here in the sport trim. Um, there's real leather on the doors and on the seats. There's this blue stitching that is consistent throughout. You'll see there's some carbon fiber accents on the doors. And then one of my favorite things is the design here on the dashboard behind the screen. You'll see this really nice micro suede material with detailed stitching, again, in that blue color with some white accents. And that comes all the way across behind the steering wheel. One thing I really like is that Cadillac didn't insist on using touch-based controls for everything. You'll notice that there are hard buttons here for accessing the climate controls as well as your heated and cooled seats. And then in the center console here, there's also a knob which doubles for some of the touchscreen functionality and an actual physical volume control knob, which is something that I really appreciate. A couple other features in the center console here, there's a storage tray here uh, with access to a USB and USB-C ports as well as a 12 volt charging port cigarette lighter as we like to call them back in the day and then if we come over here in the armrest there is a wireless charging tray here which you can just slide your phone into while you're driving and then there's an additional tray here you can put another phone in and then there's a, another 12 volt port in here as well one disappointment is the 14 speaker akg audio system which i was hoping would have more dynamic range but it really is kind of flat unless you punch the volume way up Otherwise, it's a little bit muddy and just very heavy on the mid-range. Now, let's see what the legroom is like in the back seat of the X-T4. The seats are comfortable. They're also covered in nice leather. They have heat. Uh, there are separate vents back here, along with a USB-C port and a USB-A port for charging. That's all nice. Uh, you'll also get a little bit of the same carbon fiber treatment on the Sport model on the doors, which is also pleasant. But uh, in terms of comfort back here, my knees do touch the front seats when there's a taller driver in the front, but let's say that there's somebody who is, you know, 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, in the front, you have plenty of room in the back. If you have two six foot tall people, one in the front, one in the back, you will find that your knees are gonna end up touching those seat backs. Let's take a look at the cargo space in the X-T4 now. We have a automatic motorized lift gate here. And then behind the second row of seats, you'll see there's a pretty good amount of space. Uh, you know, it's bigger than a car trunk for sure. And uh, plenty of room for all your groceries, a couple suitcases. There are bump outs here, so it's big enough for 
golf clubs. Overall, it's a pretty good size space. Now to really take advantage of the space back here, you're gonna to wanna to remove this piece here, this cover, which comes off with these two little hooks. This whole piece slides off, and then you have full access to the cargo area. And then these seats fold in a 60-40 split. So if I just push this guy here, that folds forward, push this guy there, folds forward, and you end up with a really nice amount of cargo space and while you're not going to find a full-size spare in here, you will find there's enough room for one in the storage bin that's underneath. The 2024 Cadillac XT4 starts at $37,895. The all-wheel drive sport model seen here starts at $44,495, but fully equipped with all the options, it came to $57,815.